what up everybody it's your boy gaming forte I'm back at it with another video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button it definitely helps out the channel a lot and yes your eyes are not deceiving you we are talking about destiny 2 why are we talking about destiny 2 it's because crimson days is right around the corner they actually announced it coming out february 13th i wanted to highlight some of the things that was actually going to happen in this event because this is some of the first steps that i feel bungie has actually made to make destiny a better game i still think we're quite far away from the end goal that a lot of people have for destiny but these are like i said some of the stepping stones and i want to highlight them because i don't want to be like everybody else just putting out a bunch of hate videos on destiny because i actually do enjoy this game and i just want to talk about some of the things that they actually might be doing right and crimson day just from this update seems like it's one of them so let's get into what they actually had to say now for people that didn't know crimson day is a valentine's event where it basically centers around crucible and it's centered around clash it was two 2v2 and in the original Crimson Day you actually got this massive buff that made you run faster, reload faster, everything was just amped up to like the 10th degree whenever your soulmate or your companion died and it just really made you feel super powerful in the Crucible versus the other two people and then if one of those people died the other person would get that same buff and it was just mayhem, crazy all over the place but it was super fun and I really did enjoy that but they actually are changing up the formula a little bit. It's still going to take place in the Crucible. It's still going to be 2v2. And it's also still going to take place in the Clash playlist. So what you're going to be getting yourself into is a combat scenario of 2v2 Clash with a round based twist. They will also be debuting the new Burnout map, which is a new take on a Burning Shrine set in the future timeline where the Vex has succeeded in altering reality. As you can see from this screenshot, yeah, you can definitely see it's a lot darker. If if you ever played Destiny, you know in the future timeline, the sun was blacked out, everything was dark and grim, and that actually is where this whole map is going to take place on. But that's not the only twist they added to it. Since the sun is darkened out, they actually added lights to your character, so the closer you are to your partner, the more light your characters generate to actually see in the environment. But if you also stay close in proximity, you'll actually get a faster ability recharge rate. And if you stray too far away, your enemies will be given way points leading to your location. I think that's a really good change, honestly. It does fit with the whole team shooting meta that Destiny 2 has, and I know a lot of people are tired of that meta. Me personally, I just like shooting things, so I really don't care. Even I do get tired of that every once in a while, but that's gonna be a little bit more controlled in a 2v2 setting. You actually are gonna have chances to actually kill the other teammates and probably get those double downs because you're gonna be in close proximity to each other. Now let's talk about the rewards. This is the one part a lot of people were worried about because the way that the Dawning was received with all of the cool items, I should say, being tied behind Eververse. Now they changed it up drastically with Crimson Days. First of all, everything can be earned by just playing the game. Um, the best way to earn rewards is by just playing Crimson Day. Bungie really wanted to focus on the single character play, meaning if you only have one character, then this event is gonna be right up your alley. They're also implementing something that they're calling the knockout list. This is something that once you earn a Crimson Engram, you will get a chance to get anything that's in the loot pool for that. As you gain those new items, you will actually remove it from the loot pool. And this will keep happening until you are rewarded every item that's in the loot pool. And then once you get every item, then you will receive duplicates of those items that will still break down into bright dust. And don't you worry, if you don't have time to play the whole event, if you have enough bright dust, you can purchase every item item within the loot pool with bright dust you can't buy them straight from eververse you actually have to actually have bright dust to do it so a play the game and you'll get everything naturally if you don't have time to play the whole game as long as you have bright dust saved up you can pick out and buy any item that is available in that loot pool and that is really cool you only have to be level 25 if you have the expansion or level 20 if you don't have the new expansion and they just made it like that so anybody that didn't have it can still participate in the event which is another cool thing so bravo bungie glad to see that you actually made this a priority before the event actually started thank
thank you very much. And if you thought all that was cool guys, Bungie is giving you more ways to even earn more things that are exclusive to certain things that you complete in the game. If you finish the milestone, Welcome to Crimson Days, by doing five Crimson Day matches, you will actually earn the new ghost shell that they actually have that I'm showing right here on the screen. That's not enough for you. Complete matches in Crimson Day Crucible playlist for a chance to earn the new exotic sparrow, which I'm showing on the screen right now too. Complete either the Leviathan Ray or the Ray Lair either worlds to claim the new exotic ornament for the Warcliffe Coil from the final chest after you beat Callus. And last but not least, complete the Nightfall Strike during Crimson Day event to earn the Flaunting Dance, which is a really cool dance that you can see on the screen right now. And these are all items that you can earn by just doing these events outside of the stuff that you get from just the engrams when you open them up. And as you can see on the screen right now, I have a picture of all the engrams of everything you can earn that are included in the Crimson Day engrams. And that heart emote that you see right there, the exotic one, that's cool as hell. I can just see a lot of people using that emote in trials in the nine just to use it you know why not show your love and affection to the team you're about to beat down as you go flawless in your seven to no bid <laughs> but guys this is a cool event i don't think it's enough to bring people fully back to destiny but these are the stepping stones that a lot of people were looking for destiny to actually take to want to come back i think if they keep iterating on this with some of the stuff that they actually talked about in their roadmap which i will actually probably have a video on later i think destiny could make a strong comeback especially if they they don't take forever to get all these things implemented in the game and they definitely need to have most of this stuff in by the time the new dlc which is supposed to launch in may of this year so guys what do you think if you're a destiny fan is this something that you want to actually participate in do you like the direction that they're going with trying to minimize the microtransactions and have it more earnable in game for you let's talk about that in the comment section but guys thanks for watching this video sub to the channel if you haven't liked this video if you like the content it definitely helps out the channel a lot turn on those notifications let you know the next time one of my videos go live it's your boy gaming forte you guys have a great week and i'll see you in the next video peace